Hey y'all, Jonathan McGarry here, and this is Off the Page, Genesis chapter 23. And this is what God caused to jump off the page to me today. Chapter 23 is a bit of a divergence from most of the Old Testament up to this point. The Old Testament is known for its brevity and often its lack of detail in many aspects. Yet here is a whole chapter on the death of Sarah and Abraham's efforts to purchase a burial plot for her. We read more about the events surrounding Sarah after her death than was written about her life. Why so much detail on this subject? Here are three quick points that I believe God caused to jump off the page to me today. Number one, people die. It is inevitable. No matter how much God loves you, no matter how much God cares about you, no matter how faithful you are, no matter to what extent God includes you in his plans, death is the end of this life for all of us, except for Enoch and Elijah, who God took without them passing through death. What matters is are we prepared to meet God once this life is over? The only way to do that is to call on God in repentance and faith before this life is over. Number two, it was to demonstrate Abraham's love and care for his wife, Sarah. He went to great length and cost to find a suitable place to bury her. And later he himself, as many as other of his descendants, were buried there. Number three, to demonstrate God's love and compassion for his people that go through suffering. God placed this chapter in his word so that we would see how he provided through Abraham a place to care for his deceased wife. While God certainly knows that death is not the end, he is a feeling God and cares and provides for his people who are suffering. So did you see what I saw? Did God show you something else, something new, or something different? Seek God by reading his word. After all, the whole purpose of reading his word is to seek God, to know God, and to have a relationship with God, and thus be prepared for when you meet him. Let God speak to you today. Until next time, remember I love you. More importantly, God loves you. Keep your eyes on him.